what's going on youtube welcome to the appalachian smoke wagon youtube channel thanks everyone who subscribed commented y'all left some awesome comments i really appreciate it i've tried to get back to everyone that i could i really appreciate the comments i really appreciate the subscriptions and anyone that hasn't subscribed if you're a freedom loving patriot then why haven't you subscribed why not it takes like 1.1 second click the button Click notify. All oh, do the thing, man. It's YouTube. Do the, do the YouTube things. I appreciate it. It's going to be a short video uh, talking about the uh, optic riser I just got and installed on here. I had been needing a riser for this because my EOTech is the model. It's the EXPS-2, which doesn't have the built-in EOTech riser, so. It was kind of too low for me. I like my optics up about where this is at because I had to bury my face into the butt stock to get a good sight picture before. This is a half inch riser and uh, that's what I needed. The only downside is I can't use my magnifier with it, but that's okay. I, I didn't use it much anyways. Only when zeroing or shooting out to 200 or farther, I would throw the magnifier on it. It adds uh weight to the rifle uh yeah i just i'm not too hurt that i can't put the magnifier on here but i got the shortest one that they offer i could have got a longer one and still use the magnifier but like i said i wasn't too worried about it this is the shortest one they offer uh they make them that cover the whole picatinny section and give you a riser on your whole the whole top of your upper receiver they make them that come out and have like a free float section here that doesn't contact your uh hand guard so if you're putting a big scope on like a dmr or something like that you would go with that model but i went with this model and i haven't had it to the range and shot it yet or anything but what sold me on this was uh i don't know if this is just marketing or what but it sounds good it's a a bcm at optic riser a half inch half inch rise the at stands for angled torque so get this up and show you the bolts go in at an angle one here and one up in the front and it's supposedly let's see i got a little sheet here i wrote on it uh it stands for angle torque and the bolts go in at an angle and it's supposed to deliver approximately twice the clamping force as a horizontal clamping device so where it goes in at an angle and then it pulls it tight to the picatinny it uh it's supposed supposed to clamp twice as hard and give you that much more uh confidence that you're not going to lose zero or come loose or whatever but i've got it locked tighted on and uh shouldering this rifle in dry fire it feels perfect for my head position like i'm a big dude i'm six foot five i have a long neck and this feels way comfortable it's exactly what i was looking for i can't wait to get it to the range and try it it's uh this is my day off it's been raining all day so I may go this evening if the rain holds up because obviously I need to get out and re-zero this thing. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on what I got. And I will come back and let you know how this thing's working. If anything's come loose or if I've had any problems out of it, which I don't foresee that I will. But I'll keep you updated. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks everyone. It's This, this channel is really growed has grown way faster than i thought it ever would we're almost at 500 subscribers that's that's so cool to me i really appreciate it come on guys if you're watching this get me to 500 like i would really appreciate it i guess that's about it if you got any questions or anything or need to you need anything you can get me at appalachian smoke wagon at gmail.com other than that, that's about it. I'm going to hop off here and 
get my stuff together and maybe head to the range. Zero this baby. Uh, thanks again, everyone. That's about it. Appalachian Smoke Wagon, out for now.